Right guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about my absolute favorite app when it comes to regulating temperatures on a laptop or PC, Throttle Stop. So Throttle Stop is such a fantastic program. Why? Because there's not just one way to skin a cat. If you can't unvault, you can adjust TPL. If you can unvault but temperatures are still too high, you can adjust turbo ratio limits. Blah, 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 blah. There are a whole bunch of methods that you can get your laptop performing or, or running at full tilt where you drop at least 10 to 15 degrees. But before I get into those methods, please head on over to my homepage. If you are subscribed to the channel, please just make sure that all the notifications are set. Really will help me with the algorithm. Uh, like the video, share the video, comment on the video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so if this helps you at the end of the day. And then you can just scroll down and have a look at my performance optimization videos. Uh, there's stuff that will really get your laptop running as best as it can. But you don't know, care for that. So guys, in Throttle Stop, when you go into the FIVR section, this is where all the magic happens. So the first method would just be a straight up undervolt. So if you have undervolting unlocked, or even if you don't have undervolting unlocked, I do have a uh, full CPU optimization video where step one shows you how to unlock undervolting if it is locked for you. I will put that in the description. So if you've got a 10th generation, 11th generation CPU, you can unlock undervolting by just following step one in this video. So then uh, the first method, just straight up undervolting would be where you unlock undervolting, unlock adjustable voltage, and then you adjust the offset curve or off, uh, offset voltage for a CPU call and CPU cache and in so doing you reduce the temperatures but if you've got a slightly stronger CPU uh, I'd say probably a 10300H and up you're going to find that straight up undervolting is not enough and that brings us to our, step, our second method of reducing temperatures that would be finding your ideal offset value for CPU core, finding your ideal offset value for CPU cache, but it's still not enough, then what you do is above and beyond undervolting the laptop, you adjust turbo ratio limits um, to reduce those temperatures, to get your laptop to a point where under load, your maximum temperature is gonna be between 75 and 80 degrees. So the way you go about that is finding your undervolt and then adjusting turbo ratio limits according to the FID column. So once you have your undervolt uh, configured, what I want you to do is come into um, the main section of Throttle Stop. You're gonna go to TS Bench, and then you're gonna run it on a 960M test. And then what I want you to do is click Start, and watch your FID column. Um, it doesn't matter if your clock starts at 5.0 gigahertz or 50, uh, 50 FID. As soon as you start TS Bench, you're gonna notice that the FID column is gonna drop to a certain value. So let's say it drops to 37. That means that your CPU is throttling at 3.7 gigahertz. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna stop the test, you're gonna press cancel, you're gonna come into FIVR, and then your turbo ratio limits above and beyond your undervolt, you're gonna set your turbo ratio limits to 37 over all calls. Once you've done that, you're gonna uh, save everything, you're gonna come back. Um, once you've already set the turbo ratio limits to 37, then I want you to run TS Bench again. You're gonna change it to a 960M, and then run TS Bench again. And uh, if your uh, FID column is still dropping, then I want you to set to 36 over all calls. And at that point, you should notice that your FID column will not be dropping once doing the TS bench and then you've successfully lowered your temperatures by undervolting and adjusting turbo ratio limits and you should notice your laptop should uh, the temperatures should come down anywhere between 10 to 20 degrees but if you have a 12th generation CPU even if you follow that video on how to unlock undervolting Undervolting will not be unlocked because on 12th and 13th generation CPUs, unless you, unless you have a HK or HX CPU, uh, undervolting is not available. Turbo ratio limits is what you're going to be targeting to reduce those temperatures. 
So exactly the same concept. Um, what I want you to do is, uh, if you're on 12th or 13th gen, you're going to be adjusting turbo ratio limit. So you get, come into TS Bench, you put size onto 960M, and then run TS Bench. TS Bench is going to run, and then you'll notice that your FID column doesn't matter if it starts at 4, 45 FID. As soon as you put the CPU under load, it's going to start throttling. Let's say it throttles at 39.85. So then what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to stop the test you're going to come come into the fid column or fivr column and then you're going to set your turbo ratio limits to either 39 or 38 across all your cores once you've done that save it press ok and then you're going to you're going to do a 960m test again now you've already adjusted turbo ratio limits to be 38 over all cores start your test and if it's not dropping, that means you've adjusted turbo ratio limits to slightly below the throttling point and you shouldn't notice a marked reduction in temperatures. If, however, you are in the unfortunate situation where you can't unlock, un unlock undervolting and you cannot unlock turbo ratio limits, no problems. What you're going to do is you're going to come to the TPL section, you're going to untick disable controls and at this point it's going to open up long power uh, and short power power limit control and what you're going to do is you're going to set both these values to 35 and 35 and then you're going to apply and the reason we're going to do that is because if you whenever you play a game unless you got like uh, the, the the most powerful cpu you're going to notice that in games you, your cpu doesn't use more than 30 to 35 watts so if we set the two, uh, the the short and the long power power limit to 35, that means that your CPU is still being provided enough power to function properly, but you're going to be cutting out all the excess temperature. And you should notice by setting a PL1 and PL2 to 35 and 35, you should have a reduction of anywhere between 10 to 15 degrees on your CPU. And those are the four ways you can use Throttle Stop to reduce your temperatures. I absolutely love this program. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. And as always, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. Have a fantastic day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. It's people like you. Cheers.